Headphones are a necessity so you can block out the haters. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Olivia and welcome to my channel and I swear I think I have something in my eye. Breathe. Breathe. I'm so dramatic and like I wonder where my son gets it from. Come on. Speaking of my little boy, all of you guys loved him in my last video. I almost didn't put it in because I was like, ugh, it got like, it was just a mess up. But you guys loved it and so if you haven't checked out my last video, I'll link that down below. But I'm glad you guys liked the video and you liked him and lots of you were like, you should start a vlog. Like, you should start vlogging. So that may be in the works. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. So today I have a like what's in my backpack slash emergency locker kit slash giveaway. I love giveaways. Like come on, who doesn't? Raise your hand if you hate giveaways. Anyone? Anyone? That's what I thought. I love a good old giveaway and I'm giving away two prizes this time. So make sure you stay till the end so that you don't miss out on that. Let's get started. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and and let's get going. So first I should probably show you my backpack, right? So I have this LL Bean backpack. They have lots of different backpacks that are like typical over two shoulder backpacks, but as soon as I got into high school, for some reason, everyone started to use like over one shoulder backpacks or just like a purse. So this backpack just has a ton of room and I liked it because now that I have my son, I can use it as a diaper bag. You can use it as like something for work or college or whatever. It's just really versatile. So I I like these kind of backpacks that aren't the typical like over both of your shoulder things so you can use them later on. So that's my backpack but as far as what I bring to school I'm gonna show you guys my emergency locker kit. You can also keep this in your backpack if you want because it is super small. It fits in just like a tiny little makeup bag like this. This one is a Medela makeup bag and I just love it because it's pink and polka dotty. So just to give you some ideas of what I put in there, I put in some hand lotion like this little mini skin fix hand lotion. Also put little hygiene things like a mini deodorant and a mini mouthwash. I don't know what it is about mini products, but I like cannot get enough. I actually got all three of these things from a company called Pinch Me. I worked with them a couple months ago and basically it's kind of like a subscription box except for it's completely free. Like even the shipping is free. So you just go on there, you choose what you want and then they mail it to you within the next couple of weeks. So two other little hygiene things that I keep in there are some band-aids and a tampon or a pad if you're a girl obviously. I also put my trusty Burt's Bees in there. We can't be doing any chapping while you're at school, so keep some Burt's Bees in there, as well as some like hair ties and bobby pins if you have longer hair and you just need to get it out of your face. Like how many times have you been asked if you have a hair tie? Hey, can I borrow a hair tie? Girl, like I have short hair and everyone still asks me that. So I keep those in there as well as a pair of earrings. Now this might not even be a big deal to some people, but I just remember like driving to school or I'd be in second period and just like, oh, I forgot my earrings. And it was just like a tragedy. Like, I don't know what it is, but I am a girl who needs her earrings. So the last thing that I keep in there is a Nutri-Grain bar. You can do like a Nutri-Grain bar or a granola bar or like a Snickers for all I care. I just like always keep something with me to snack on in case I forget to eat breakfast or I don't have time to eat breakfast or it's the middle of the afternoon and I'm still starving. The other thing that I forgot to grab actually that I would put in there as well is some money. Just keep like five dollars on you whether it's ones or a five dollar bill or even like ten dollars. Wouldn't keep anything more than 20 just in case you lose it or someone like breaks into your locker and steals it. But just keeping a few dollars in there really really helps just in case you need to get something from the vending machine or you need some extra lunch money or maybe you need some gas money. Whatever it is, five dollars can actually go quite a long way. So I would keep that in there as well. So now for what I actually keep in my backpack, the first thing I keep is my wallet. This is just a cute little fossil wallet that my brother got me for Christmas. I just keep a wallet like this or something a little bit smaller just to keep like some money in, a little bit of change in, keep like your driver's license and any other school ID that you might need, some cards or whatever else you're taking with you. I think a wallet is an absolute must. The next thing I keep is a little planner and I just think this planner is so cute. I actually got this at Target, I believe. Yeah, I got it at Target because it was in like, 
You know how they have that little dollar area right at the front of Target? I think this was either $1 or $3. I can't exactly remember, but for just a couple bucks, it was perfect. I just like it. Super small, super easy to keep in your backpack. The next thing that I keep is my phone and a charger. It was definitely a must when I was in high school, just for like using it for fun to text your friends and things like that, but also for emergencies in case you, in case you need to call your parents or your parents need to call you. I also recommend keeping like a charger in your backpack that probably sounds really really weird because lots of people don't carry chargers around but how many times are you in your last period and you really really need to call your mom after school to come pick you up but your phone's about to die or how many times have you woken up in the morning and it didn't plug all the way into your phone and you're like crud my phone wasn't charging all night now what do I do? The next little electronic thing that I keep is a pair of headphones. I really, really like those big headphones. Like, I have headphones like that if I'm ever recording. Lots of you guys don't know that I sing all the time and like I love recording music. I just never put it up, so maybe one of these days I will. But when I'm on the go, I like a small little pair like this. Obviously, I like suck at keeping them untangled, so don't mind me. The last little electronic item that I have is some sort of tablet. I have this little tablet that it's a Samsung one. I thought it was like an Asus tablet, but I think I used to have one of those. I don't know if you can bring them to like your high school or junior high, but I know in our high school and in college, you're allowed to bring tablets or iPads or whatever you have. The next thing that I have in my backpack is a water bottle. I live in the desert and I promise if I didn't drink water 24 seven, I would shrivel up and die. You guys would never see me again, so. Now, ever since I had my son, I love water, but I used to hate it. So if you hate it, I recommend getting a few of these like little, these are called natural fruit sticks. This is berry flavored and this is strawberry lemonade. It's from Truvia. Is it Truvia or Truvia? I don't know. But we have so many of these. We have like Kool-Aid flavors, we have Propel flavors, we have lots of different flavors of these like little water packs that you can just stick in a bottle of water. I used to use these when I was in high school, but when I was even younger than that, I just like hated them because they didn't taste good and they didn't have any sugar or anything. So if you don't like those as well, on top of not liking your water either, but you still need to drink some water, then I suggest getting something like this. This is Splenda Minis. This also came in my pinch box and all you do is just boom 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 okay I love these Splenda minis because Splenda is like a no calorie sweetener so makes everything a little bit sweeter but you're not getting all the extra calories that go along with it so now on to the actual school supplies school supplies I recommend grabbing some sticky notes I have like these bigger ones as well oh there we go. I don't bring all of these sticky notes with me to school. I just like the fun colors, so I just choose a couple for the day or for the week or for the month or whatever until I run out and I stick those with me. And I like using sticky notes because it helps with a little thing I like to call creative note taking. For me personally, I hate taking notes and when I do take notes, I don't read them later on. I'm just like, ugh. I'll be ready for the test. So creative note taking really helps and for me that includes like doodling along the way, doing it in different colors, using like tape and arrows and sticky notes. The next thing that I have in my backpack is some little notepads like this. I like to have notepads just because they're easy to keep all of your homework in one place or all of whatever you need to do all in one place so you're not sorting through and so you don't miss anything. The next back to school thing I have for you is everything that's in my pencil pouch. So of course I have a few pencils in there as well as an eraser covered in paint. I like these pink erasers but if you guys have ever seen they're like these rectangle white erasers that have like this blue it looks almost like it's for like a graph or something like math eraser is what I'm gonna call it. It's a math eraser. Just kidding I don't know like what the brand is or anything I just know that I love them. I'm not even kidding they can erase anything. Like they can erase the bully sitting next to you. Those erasers are a must. I also keep some black pens in there. I keep two just in case at least at least two just in case one of them runs out i really really like these pens they're pilot g2 pens 0.38 i don't know what that means i just love love these pens because you know when you're sitting there and you're like 
come on, work, 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 God. And you gotta borrow a pen or you gotta go hunting for another one or whatever. These pens work like 99.999% of the time. I also keep some colored pens for my colored pen addiction. I use these for my creative note taking. I write like the headings in one color, I write like the bulk of my notes in the other color, and then I'll write like arrows and circle things and stuff like that in another color. I just like using colored colored pens because I think when you go back later on to look at your notes they're easier to look at, they're easier to decipher, and makes it a little bit more fun to take notes and study so I keep some colored pens handy. I also keep a few colored highlighters and same kind of thing just highlighting different like topics and things like that, different headings with different colors. I like having a few of those on hand. I keep a few sharpies on hand. I have two um, like thicker ones and two of these skinny sharpies. And the last thing I have in my pencil bag is this cute little mini ruler. I use it for math all the time. It's a lot better than carrying around one of those big bulky rulers. It fits so easy in your pencil pouch. I also put a calculator in there or just in your backpack but I couldn't find one so don't forget a calculator. Alright so I have two other quick things to show you. I keep all of my little things in another small pencil or a makeup pouch like this. I keep my little things in there so they won't get lost in my pencil pouch I want to dig around and so they won't get lost in my backpack or even in one of the pockets in my backpack. I keep a few things like rubber bands, extra lead, some washi tape, a mini stapler, and some staples for it. All right, so the last thing I have to show you is some notebook ideas. I made this in my last back to school DIY video. I made this kind of summer travel one where it has these little like postcard Polaroid things down here in the bottom that you can put some of your summer vacation pictures in. So I really like composition notebooks. I have that map one, I have a chalkboard one, and I have this ombre one. This ombre one's actually my favorite. It has like this threaded embroidery arrow kind of design on the side and I am obsessed with it. So check out my last video, I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to see how to make those three notebooks. I really like composition notebooks because you can kind of decorate them and they're easier to decorate in my opinion, but I actually like spiral notebooks better for the functionality of them. I like them because you can just simply flip this around all the way to the back and write and you don't have to like have that other thing in your way as you're trying to write. I don't know, I just hated composition notebooks when I was younger, so I used spiral notebooks all the time. Just a quick tip for them, if you go to like Walmart, Target, wherever you shop for your back to school supplies, at the end of the back to school season, so like in the next couple of weeks, everything goes on sale and my dad buys like a case of these. There's like 20 or 30 of them and they're like 10 cents a piece maybe so the whole like 20 or 30 of them you can get the whole thing for like two or three dollars so that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. So yeah that's just a quick tip when you're shopping for back to school next year or even next semester go at the end of this back to school season. So that's all of my back to school supplies. I know it seems like a whole bunch of supplies but it's actually not that much it just seems like a lot because you're saying I'm bringing these pens, I'm bringing this eraser, I'm bringing these staples. Well, you're explaining every single tiny thing so it seems like a lot but it's actually not a whole ton of stuff. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas for what to keep in an emergency locker kit as well as in your backpack for this coming school year. All right. I think it's giveaway time. So I'm going to be giving away two $25 gift cards to Target to two of you guys. I just love giveaways, that's why I just like light up whenever I start talking about them. So all you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. It would kind of suck if someone won that wasn't subscribed. So make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram. And to actually enter your name on my Instagram as soon as I post this video, I'm going to be posting a picture on my Instagram that's kind of like the content entry area I guess you could say you'll see it it'll say like target gift card giveaway or something like that all you have to do is follow me on there and tag a friend that you think would like a $25 gift card as well so basic summary subscribe here follow me on Instagram and tag a friend pretty simple
I'm going to be choosing a giveaway winner one week from when this video goes up and I'll be announcing it on my Twitter and in the description of the video that goes up on the day that the contest is over. So you can follow me on Twitter if you want like instant access to know if you've won or not. And I think that's it so I'll leave all the rules down below in the description just in case you want to double check. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment letting me know if you entered the giveaway. Also leave me some comments letting me know what kind of back to school video you want to see next. I have heard live hats and I've heard locker videos are super super popular that's what lots of people want to see so I'm thinking about doing one of those videos next and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and I think that's about it so I'll see you guys next time bye